Traffic is bad enough going to the Nea. What with the construction of the Nea Expressway? Well, motorists are warned it could get worse. Motoring Today field correspondent DJ Susie has the story. Over the past months, traffic going to and out of the airport has gone from bad to worse. This was because of the ongoing construction of the Naia Expressway, linking the three terminals of the Ninoy Aquino International Airport, or Naia, to the Skyway to Pagcor City. However, traffic could go even worse after authorities decided to extend bus routes over to the Circulo del Mundo. This is meant to provide bus services to passengers, workers, and employers at Naia Terminal 3. This was apparently requested by the Manila International Airport Authority, or MIAA, which coordinated with the Land Transportation Franchising and Regulatory Board, or LTFRB. 55 buses have been granted special permits to extend their routes to the Naia. With the special permit, these buses coming from Ross Boulevard can take the Naia Road, proceed to Domestic Road, and then Andrews Avenue before arriving at the Circulo del Mundo. They then will take the same route in reverse going back to Ross Boulevard. The route will also benefit passengers from Terminal 4. Authorities are saying the extended route is still an experiment and will be evaluated. We will have to wait and see how this will affect everyday traffic in the area before they will decide to make this permit or put a stop to the experiment. Moving on, the Philippine National Railways has resumed commuter operations, but only partially. Here's our field correspondent, Jelly Soriano, with more details. The good news for commuters is that Philippine National Railways, or PNR, has resumed its commuter operations that were suspended following the derailment caused by vandals who stole bolts or clips and other vital parts holding the rail tracks together. The bad news is that operations were only partially resumed. The PNR will only be running five trains from Tutuban in Manila to Alabang in Muntinlupa. Two other trains are still being overhauled. The service will operate from 5 a.m. to 9 p.m. The trains will not be running more than 40 kilometers per hour. The PNR started partial operations of its popular commuter service after TUV Rainland, the independent consultant it hired to inspect and certify to the safety of the rail track and facilities. The PNR says the rail tracks between Alabang and Kalamba are still being rehabilitated. Until this is completed and the tracks and systems certified as safe, the Alabang to Kalamba service will be remain suspended. The PNR appears to have been taking its time to resume full commuter operations. But it is only right that PNR takes all the time needed to ensure the trains will be running safe.